Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 89 to 90. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blurb 50% of each episode. So if you guys don't want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all my reads. Uh, keep you guys early access, no blurs, no censorship, no cat logo blurs. If that's something up your alley, definitely check it out on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. I've been reading all day, all day for the month of October, so I'm a little bit tired, <laughs> but I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get started. Fancy a cup of tea? Bella? Ugh. Why? But don't, but don't, but don't. What are you doing here? It's been a long time, Bella. Is there any way to greet an old friend? Uh, if we still are friends, anyways. After you disappeared two years ago. Never thought there was a reason. Nera. <laughs> I'm sure hope there is. Why are you here? You're not easy to find, you know. You are almost never with the circus. And you're completely untraceable the rest of the time. But now that I finally found you, I need your help. Oh, and how could a commoner like me be of any help to you, princess? Just like last time, only this time, I need to escape. Here's a location we can meet again. Escape? From what? The dull and boring life of privilege? A life I never chose. You, of all people, should know how that feels. So you did all of this to find me just to help you escape? Sounds like a reach. Dear. I guess so. How entertaining. Don't ever come back here. I don't want to see you. Oh. Purple Heisen, episode 89. Evening, Captain. Three nobles were murdered last night. Golden Viper Venom again. Two in 10th District and one in ours. The bodies were found this morning. I see. Our serial killer is on a spree. Tonight's murders don't seem related to Harvey's or Sake's. The three nobles also had no apparent ties to each other. I believe we're dealing with a hitman from the Phantom Sight. We know some of their assassins accept, con accept contracts for cash on the side. And what about Sinclair's? Who was with her last night? Officer Sinclair was home the entire night. Dozen of guests, Chief uh, Sinclair's and Lord Rimsel, Rimsmel can confirm it. I see. That's good for her, I suppose. I am so happy you're not a murderer, Lauren! Huh. Herman will all have no choice but to cut you some slack now. This is still three murders in one night? That's insane. I know, right? And so soon after the circus. There's no clear connection, so it must be some sort of contract killer. Ah, uh, let's stop talking about this murder. It's giving me a headache. I just want to forget about this morning. Earlier that day. Ah, uh, this is horrible, horrendous. My heart cannot handle the stress. I... Uh, you'll be okay, ma'am. We're the APD here to help. Oh my gosh, milady. Ah. Uh. Milady, can you stand? Oh, this is all too stressful. My poor heart can't take it. 
Please, administer CPR at once. <laughs> I'm sure your girlfriend over there will understand. Girl. <laughs> Wait, who's the girlfriend? Me? Damn, you don't need CPR. I know the situation might be stressful. This is stress is too much. Mo is my heart so beating. Ma'am, this is sexual harassment. Let go of him. I must I know you must be distressed, but don't make me arrest you. Please go home. We're handling the crime scene. Oh, Huh? Crime scene? No, I can't leave. Oh no, what if the victim's my butler? Uh -huh. Wait, she wasn't here because of the crime scene? I don't fucking know. I'm sure it's the same two fecund felons again. They were at the Carmine Camilla too. Those wicked predators have been tracking us. Waiting for us to lower our guards. And now they have taken my butler. Wait, the same two? Are you talking about Loon? Oh, those assassins were Loon. I knew they couldn't be trusted. My lady, my lady, have Brussels sprouts sent to survey. Oh, my beautiful handsome butler is back from the dead. Oi, Lieutenant, you okay? Do you also need CPR? <laughs> huh? I can call Herman over to revive you. Oh. Ah, so that's why, why we'll look so disheveled. Disheveled. Hey, guys. Evening, Detective March. What did Herman say? Investigation unit will cooperate with other precincts to look, up, look for the culprit. With three murders in a row, the killer may have left some clues. The police might stand a chance to find something this time. Otherwise, good news for you, Sinclair. Your name will most probably be cleared because of last night's events. Herman would not be able to keep you on suspension without more evidence. I just wish that, th that three... M I just wish that three brutal murders weren't necessary to prove my innocence in his eyes. Did you hear, Kieran? Oh, yes, I've heard about the murders. It will send chills down anyone's spine. But I'm glad Officer Sinclair is no longer suspected. I also have good news concerning Chow's case. The file we presented to the court has been accepted. The appeal will start this week. Mm. The bill was solved quickly. With our leads and the witness testimony, the investigation unit was able to gather enough evidence to prove Maria's innocence. Seeing her freed felt like I did the right thing for the first time in a long while. <laughs> but that relief was only for a short duration. Miss, miss. Me? This is for you. Wait. T -t uh. Uh. Huh? Meet me under Lawrence Bridge tomorrow at midnight. S. Turn on the music. Purple Hyacinth, episode 90. It is the only copy as far as I know. Good. I found the woman you were looking for. Her name is Ever Evera Lloyd, 45 years old, living in the 11th district. Pretty unremarkable background and never suspected to be part of the Phantom Scythe. She had several jobs as manager and is currently the director of the Glass Factory on Sheer Brook Street in 11th as well. Alvira. Lloyd, huh? 
Yes, she's involved in the import and dissimulation of Nitro in the seventh operation. But I know nothing more for now. I see. Thank you. How are your Phantom Scythe files coming along? When are you thinking of releasing them? By the end of this month, if I live until then. Are you planning on outing the Purple Hyacinth too? No, not for now at least. He's a precious help to our co common goal. What made you choose this goal exactly? What changed? In the Phantom Scythe, the Apostle's specialty is to find any of your weaknesses and use them against you. Sake needed me to steal money, and when he dragged me into this shady business, he didn't forget to mention I had a daughter to his Apostle, Clara. You've seen her only once or twice. You probably can't remember. So they used her to blackmail you into doing their dirty work. I'm far from being the only one they used this tactic on. Before I even knew what the Phantom Scythe was, they already knew everything on me. And you've worked all these years for the Phantom Scythe because of that? Does she know you are alive? No. It was better if she believed I was dead like everyone else. Clara, you know, she... I used to take her sh skipping stones every day. She wanted to learn so badly. <laughs> Kids. I thought it was silly back then, but now I treasure those memories a lot. Clara was the only thing I had left. I watched her grow from afar, married to the noble Grayson family, becoming a lady. I later realized she had started working as a double agent for the APD too. I wish I could have been there to prevent her. Grayson, where have I heard about it before? You asked me to change, to ask me what changed. Well, two months ago, on the night of November 13th. She was assassinated by none other than the Purple Heisen. Hello? Officer Sinclair here. An emergency. What happened? Miss, please try to stay calm. You're safe now. You did the right thing calling us right away. Can you tell us what happened? Where's Mrs. Grayson? I wanted to make sure everything was alright. But then I saw b blood, so, so much blood, and a limp hand sticking out of the doorframe, and I, yes, I remember. Good morning to all. As many of you already know, two of our double agents were murdered last night in the 11th precinct. Two people were murdered that night I chased after the Purple Hyson. Lady Grayson was his daughter. But then, like I've told you, from that point on, I had nothing more to lose. I'm sorry for your daughter. You're a strange man, Sandman. You've killed my parents, and yet you come back ten years later to help me and the killer of your daughter. Ironic, isn't it? There's one thing you have to understand about the Phantom Scythe. When you are given an order, even if you don't execute it, someone else will. It's a fate the victims cannot escape. A fate that will be yours too, or that of the people you care about. If you, if you refuse to obey, and some people are more than happy to carry those orders to completion. Believe me, some others. You know, his flowers made me understand that him and I are two sides of the same coin. What do you mean? Do you really think? The purple hyacinth is leaving flowers next to its victim as a threat to the royals? No. Well then. Wait. 
I'm not done yet. There is something else I've meant to ask you. What was Robin Delaney doing in the car with you? That day, Delaney's role was to retrieve someone for the Apostle. I never knew why. I don't know what happened after either. Just that Delaney was killed. The Apostle wanted the kid to be brought to him. The other was collateral damage. Colla collateral damage? What are you... <sighs> Watch out! Boom. What the hell was that? A hitman. They're already on my back. But... We must never be seen together. Leave. I'll take care of the body. Leave! Uh. Huh. Oh, a lot of letters going around lately. Oh my gosh, I have like a mosquito vice and it's like right here. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my watching reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.